My role is to be on the theory side, but in the same time close to the experimentalists. I come from Trieste, which is a town in Italy in the Adriatic Sea. Um, and there in Trieste I performed my studies of physics and then I started to work uh, at the local synchrotron radiation facility, Elettra. A synchrotron is uh, a facility in which, through the movement of an electron beam, a beam of electrons, uh, you can obtain X-rays out. And these X-rays can be used uh, then to study uh, the properties of matter. So these carbons are different than these two carbons? Yes and are also the spectra you calculated different. The students are very important uh, in our research. Um, at the moment I have two PhD students. Uh, usually in the beginning a supervisor is uh, more a teacher for the students, but uh, soon they start to, uh, to learn and they become more and more independent in their research and they are of course encouraged to, uh, to also develop their own ideas and uh, with time, I would say that they become collaborators. I need um, DFT codes. And within the DFT codes, there are several kind of qualities, like um, plane waves or spherical um, basis sets or muffin tin orbitals. And according to the system, I have to choose and set up everything. And hopefully it is converging. Definitely in this research, there is an interest to understand uh, how to simulate, interpret and describe the results of the spectroscopies uh, at the fundamental level. And this is maybe one of my main interests. What we're seeing now are a theoretical simulation of scanning tunneling microscopy, an experimental technique which is performed by our experimentalist colleagues. Uh, this is a theoretical simulation based on theoretical models that Johan performed. Um, and uh, we will compare the results of the theoretical simulation with uh, the results of the spectroscopy. So I would say that there is a double purpose. On one side there is the methodology, which partly I like to develop and definitely to use. On the other side there is this uh, attempt to find also some, some useful application, something that can be really relevant for everybody. So I plotted here the experimental spectrum okay. alongside with our calculations um, and here is the total spectrum uh, then the full RN component okay here is carbon 2 and carbon 3 carbon 1 the intermediate carbon and here are the phenyl phenyls, and the CH2 and here are the carbons connected to the Okay, oxygen. so this is the tail of the molecule. Yes. Okay, and these peaks uh, correspond to these peaks up here, yeah. to this one? Yeah. Okay. Julia is studying some molecules, uh, fuller and derivatives, which are used uh, in polymeric solar cells. And uh, we are trying to understand uh, how to improve uh, the uh, functionality of these solar cells.